This video topic was requested by my patron, Nikki Marie. If you would like to become a patron and have your video topic requests prioritized, link down below. So there are some people out there that think I have a major influence over the roleplay community. Um, I don't, I don't wish to, I'm just here to share information. But if I did, <laughs> one thing I would actually do is try to get rid of the term literate roleplay. I don't like it. I think it's really confusing. Spare Room with Karen Terry. Hey y'all, and welcome to Spare Room. I'm Karen Terry, and today we're going to talk about literate roleplay. So this is a term that's thrown around a lot in roleplay circles. However, it can be really confusing if you've not encountered it before. So today what we're going to talk about is what it means and my personal feelings about it. So what is literate roleplay? In the most basic sense, Literate roleplay means roleplaying with fully grammatically correct sentences in a post length that's typically a paragraph or longer. Literate roleplay assumes that everyone involved has a high grasp of English spelling, grammar, and vocabulary. You won't find any chat speak or asterisk type of roleplay in literate roleplay circles. Typically, literate roleplayers are older, because just like any skill, it takes time and attention to develop. So you're typically going to find older teens and adults in literate roleplay circles, and you're less likely to find younger teens in those circles. Literate roleplay also sometimes implies a post length, even though it doesn't necessarily mean that. So what I mean by that is when you see a literate roleplay, you're probably going to have a roleplay that is considered multi-para or novella length, even though multi-para and novella refer specifically to post length. You can find literate roleplay that's single para, so if you're ever unsure when you're looking at a literate roleplay what the post length is, my recommendation is to ask the moderators what a typical post length is, or look for additional words in the roleplay description such as, you know, single para, multi para, novella length, things like that. Now, because literate roleplay is really focused on correct grammar, correct spelling, vocabulary usage, you typically won't find one-liner role plays, even if they're perfectly grammatically correct. And that's when it comes to literate role play. So literate role play, typically single para or above, and even more commonly multi para or above. So if this is the first time that you've heard the term literate role play, or the first time that you've had it explained to you, there's an elephant in the room that we need to address. Why is it called literate role play if it really just means grammatically correct and experienced role play? Is it implying that people who do chat speak or asterisk style roleplay or one liner roleplay don't know how to read and write? Are those roleplays considered illiterate then? Clearly that's wrong because if you can't read or write, then you can't do any sort of roleplay. You have to have some kind of basis of communication for roleplay to happen at all, no matter the style. So it's just like the tiniest little bit ableist to say that good grammar and spelling roleplay is literate roleplay. Well, this is the line of thinking that a lot of people on Tumblr a few years ago sort of came to when it came to the term literate roleplay. So they tried to rebrand it as legit serious roleplay or LSRP. So the idea was on Tumblr, when you looked for roleplays, you would look at the tags for LSRP or legit serious roleplay. However, the term literate roleplay has been used for decades. So what ended up happening is you had two tags. You had the legit serious roleplay tags and you had the literate roleplay tags. And it was the same roleplays, just in two different tags. Womp. So putting the kind of internet social justice part of this aside, those people on Tumblr were definitely onto something. This term is super confusing. You can't figure out the meaning of it just from hearing it, which is really unlike a lot of other roleplay terms that we use. For example, single para and multi para, it's obvious what those mean. It's inherent in the words single paragraph, multi paragraph. Same thing for like single ship and multi ship. If those words, like once you know just a tiny bit about them, the words make perfect sense because it's inherent in the name. And a lot of roleplay words are like that, but not literate roleplay. So for this reason, I personally don't use the word literate roleplay. I don't see myself in the future using the word literate roleplay. I just don't describe my roleplays that way. So there are some people out there that think I have a major influence over the roleplay community. Um, I don't, I don't wish to, I'm just here to share information. But if I did, <laughs> one thing I would actually do is try to get rid of the term literate roleplay. I don't like it. I think it's really confusing. 
I think you can achieve exactly the same thing by saying that your roleplay requires good spelling and grammar, and then going on to describe the typical post length you expect in your roleplay. If you do it this way, everyone knows exactly what you mean. You don't have to be confusing for newer role players. You don't have to have people be like, well, what exactly do you mean by literate? Because as we talked about before, sometimes post length gets conflated. So when some people say literate, they mean like novella style role play. And when some people say literate, they mean single para role play just with good spelling and grammar. And it can be very confusing looking at those two role plays if they don't clarify. And it's just super confusing because the word literate means something totally different outside of roleplay circles, unlike almost every other term that we use in the roleplay world. So that's my explanation of what literate roleplay is and how I feel about it. For those of you that have done literate roleplay, does this match your experience? This matches my experience, but of course my experience isn't universal. And for those of you that this is a newer term for, does it make sense now what you're looking at when you see a roleplay described as literate? And does this give you the information you need to ask the clarifying questions that you might need to ask before joining? Let me know all of that down below. And of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day. Great day.